Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name's John. Um, part two of my adventures with the Olympus Trip 35. Um, if you haven't seen the previous video yet, part one, uh, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, in this video, I basically look at trying to um, get a decent looking and decent working camera out of the three that I ended up purchasing. Um, so let's waste no time and uh, let's take a look. So the first uh, camera um, that I got um, had this problem of the um, aperture blade sticking. Um, after watching a video by um, Famo Media, which I'll leave a link to in the description, um, he um, very well done video. He, he talks through um, taking the camera apart and servicing the blades. Um, and it seemed pretty straightforward, it seemed something I could achieve. Um, however, in practice, it is actually uh, considerably more fiddly than I anticipated. And so um, the uh, my attempt ultimately did fail. Um, but this is some footage of me um, taking the camera apart. Um, enough to actually get to the aperture blades and then um, try and free them up um, using a, a particular kind of oil that wasn't going to uh, to you know cause any issues um, but unfortunately like I said it didn't uh, ultimately um, work the blades were much freer but they were still sticking somewhat um, so that I couldn't really rely on uh, using the uh, camera um, and getting the results that I wanted. So eventually I did abandon that option. Um, instead, I um, sold the two uh, trips that I had and uh, purchased uh, this 1968 one, which, which you've seen uh, in the previous video. Um, but it needed some um, uh, improvements to the sort of cosmetic look of it. Um, so one of the first things that I decided to do was to reskin it. The previous skin wasn't um, too bad, but uh, on close inspection, you could see it was getting tatty in places, as you'd expect for a camera that's over 50 years old. Um, so this is me uh, gently and as carefully as I can removing the existing um, cover um, and uh, preparing the surface ready for uh, applying a new skin. with um, a camera obviously of this age is the sort of uh, dirt and grime that uh, builds up. Um, this is me actually removing uh, a second layer of grime uh, with some isopropyl alcohol. Um, it seems to be the most suitable substance because obviously it evaporates quite quickly, doesn't leave any sticky residue, but uh, removes quite a bit of grime, uh, you know, buildup of skin and etc. over the many years uh, and just generally gives a nicer appearance to the outside of the camera. Uh, you'll see in a moment uh, the amount of dirt uh, appearing on the Q-tip. Indeed, that was, as I say, my second uh, going over of this. Just removing some sticky residue left behind by the previous uh, covering, ready to apply the new one. So as I did for my uh, FX3, which I'll leave a link to that video above, um, I use Millie's cameras. Um, I'll leave a link to uh, their website in the description as well. Um, and this is the pre-cut uh, blue leather that I chose uh, for uh, recovering this camera. 
as before it's already um, adhesive and I just need to obviously peel off the backing and apply as carefully as possible. can be a little fiddly, especially on the two front sections, actually um, getting them to uh, line up correctly and and, uh, and sit flush, etc. So I'm just using a little sort of uh, podging device here uh, to uh, make sure that everything sits neatly and uh, just the final piece to go. The only other um, work I did on the camera was I did take the lens apart again, but this time purely to clean the glass uh, using an air blower to initially clean it off and then obviously uh, proper lens cleaning fluid. And there you have it, um, quite pleased with the result. Um, and hopefully um, you can see that in the images that I'm showing you now. Um, these are all taken on the Trip 35 uh, from various films at various times. Well, there you go. I appreciate the colour is not everybody's cup of tea, um, but uh, it's something that I really am pleased with, and I love the camera. I love using it. It's nice and simple. Um, and as I say to you before, if you can um, track one down for a reasonable price or whatever, I really recommend that you try. Um, a massive thank you to everybody uh, for watching, uh, liking, subscribing, sharing, whatever you're doing, any interaction. I really, really appreciate it. I'm off on holiday for a couple of weeks, so possibly no video in that time. I'll really see what I can do, but I will be filming lots, um, lots of photo work and that sort of stuff, um, and uh, hopefully plenty to show you upon my return. Until then, thanks very much. Take care.